with us. Why has all this happened to us? And where are all the miracles our ancestors told us about? Didn't they say the Lord brought us up out of Egypt, but now the Lord has abandoned us and handed us over to the Midian? Now, now catch this, because, because remember, the Lord says, mighty hero, the Lord is with you. This was, this was his response. And then after that, the Lord says, listen, I'm with you. You're going to rescue Israel. But then in verse 15, then your boy Gideon had the nerves to not only, you know, say what he said before, but then he followed it up by saying, listen, I don't, you know, as, he was like, look, I'm the weakest. <laughs> I'm a part of the weakest camp. My, my, my camp is the weakest, and I'm the weakest of the weakest. <laughs> so, so, so maybe you came to the wrong person. I don't know if you got the wrong address. In other words, while the Lord had told him that, that he had an assignment on his life, all Gideon could do is just focus on his pain and his problems. He was blinded by his issues. How, how often do God give us an assignment and yet, instead of us moving forward with it, we, we throw up while we're disqualified? God sees, sometimes God sees more in you than you see in yourself. Because notice that the angel of the Lord rode up on the brother while he was hiding, while he was in, this, in, in a position of captivity, and, and he said, mighty hero. He didn't say mighty higher. He said, mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Listen, listen, when, whenever God gives you a word, beloved, this is not the time for you to bring up your pain and your past and your issues. This is not the time for you to tell God that, you know, about the three husbands that you have.
change the way you see everything through asset-based thinking. Now, in this book, uh, they, they explain the importance of having what they call asset-based thinking vis-a-vis deficit-based thinking. Now, deficit-based thinking is what your boy Gideon was doing initially. You know, when God rolled up, when the Lord, the angel of the Lord rolled up on him, he started bringing up his deficits. You know, I, I, you know, he, he started saying that I'm, I'm the weakest of, of the weakest. He, he, he started talking about his issue. He started talking about the fact that if the Lord is with us, how come this didn't happen? So deficit-based thinking is when you focus on what's not going right or what you don't have. Asset-based thinking is when you focus on what you do have. Mm -hmm. See, I love what our pastor teaches us. See, our pastor, our pastor often tells us, he says, Your, the story is not incorrect, but it is incomplete. Yeah, because when the angel of the Lord rolled up on Gideon and Gideon started saying all that stuff, at no point did he say, Gideon, you lying. Because he wasn't. So what you going, what you're going through may be true, and those those negative things that you may be throwing out there may be true, but that that's not the full story. Listen, you got to be able to look at your situation and say, okay, I don't like the stuff over there, but you have to choose to not focus on that and start focusing on the good things that you do have. So in essence, instead of focus on the fact that you're the weakest of the weakest. Focus on the fact that the Lord is with you. Amen. Focus on the fact that an angel just popped up out of nowhere and decided to come visit you. The angel could have visited anybody else, but the angel decided to come and visit you because there's something on your life. There's something great about you. Even though you may have some flaws and some things that you wish that you could do better, at the end of the day, the Lord rolled up on your behind and looked you in your face and said, mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. And not only did he say, the Lord is with you, he said, go in the strength that you have. He did not say, go in the strength that Pastor Vernon has. He did not say, go in the strength that Dr. Will has. No, he said, go and the strength that you have. Which means whatever you have is enough for the assignment that God has given you. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. Whatever you have, whatever is inside of you, see, see, at some point you have to make a decision and say, I'm not going to focus on this negativity or the nonsense. That stuff is not going to help me move forward. I'm going to focus on the greatness and the gifts and the things that God has given me. And I'm going to focus on the fact that the Lord is about to bless me and he's about to hook me up. What's good, Ray Gang? And welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we're going to be starting up another weekly vlog. And y'all, I have just had the most productive day ever. It's actually pretty late. Like, it's going on almost 11 o'clock. That's very embarrassing. But I don't care. I'm in the mood to cook. I already kind of, like, prepped 
my stuff down. Um, I'm going to be making a, let me, let me pull up the TikTok. Hold on. Okay. So, so it's called a soft potato taco bowl. And I made this soft potato taco bowl. Taco Bell used to call these things cheesy fiesta potatoes. Ooh. I made it healthier. Let me show you how to get down. So I'm super excited. It's going to be my own version because I could just not be bothered to make my own pico de gallo. Um, and honestly, as you guys saw from my little mini grocery haul, I went to Target for one thing. And then in Target, I decided I'm getting everything that I need in Target and I'm not going anywhere else. Period. Yeah, we're going to improvise. Here are the ingredients so far. So we have potatoes, which I already diced up um, just to prep before I got in the shower and washed my hair. We have some ground beef. Ideally, I would have liked 90% lean, but this is all they had left. So got to do what we got to do. Two limes, some less sodium taco seasoning, the Tocitos, the infamous Tocitos chunky salsa, that's medium. And then this stuff is so good. This is the brand Herdez, uh, guacamole salsa and the medium flavor. And then last but not least, more condiments, sour cream and some cheese. So let's get into it y'all. I'm really excited. I'm gonna start off by seasoning the potatoes. Let me turn y'all down. Okay, so I already have the potatoes. I've already drizzled some olive oil on them and it's they've actually been sitting for quite some time because I did this all before I got in the shower. So I'm gonna go in with some OG Lori's, Lowry's seasoning salt. Season these Johns up. Okay, we're not gonna do that. The meat is also gonna be seasoned quite a bit, so I don't wanna season it too much. Some black pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Adobo, lightly because we already use seasoning salt. Ton of garlic. I'm a garlic girly. Perfect. Some paprika just for color. Oh God, that was a lot. Okay. I'm going to give this a good mix. Let's get these in the air fryer. Oh my God. Look at my brand new air fryer, y'all. I got this as a gift, a housewarming gift. Shout out to everybody that sent me something as a housewarming gift. I love y'all big, like big. But uh, my friend Dorian got this for me. She's like a sister. Um, and this is gonna be my first time using her, so I'm excited. We're at 390. We're gonna do this for about 18 to 20 minutes. So I don't know about y'all, but the way that I grew up, we use foil for like literally everything. I don't know if it's laziness or what, but I'm not gonna put the food straight in here. Like, no. So we are going to line foil in the tray. And then we're gonna toss the potatoes in here. I hope this isn't too much. Voila, I'll try to get it as flat as possible. And now we're gonna put it in here for about 20 minutes, 18 to 20 minutes. So. So I'm just gonna cook this meat down as you normally would. And I'm pretty much going to use the same exact seasonings that I did for the potatoes on the meat. But, in, but also, in addition, I'm going to use that taco seasoning mix. Use a lot of garlic. I love garlic, y'all. Breath be on 10, and that's okay. <laughs> Black pepper. Maybe buy some more, man. I'm almost out. A little bit of adobo, because we have that seasoning packet too, y'all. Damn. 
I just thought about it. I could have added onion. I think I'm going to. I have some red onion in the fridge. Shit. Kind of late. But that would set this off. Hold on, let me turn this heat down. Cut up some red onion. Oh y'all, potatoes look good so far. Look at them. Potatoes look real good. Now to assemble our bowl, here are our beautifully crusted potatoes. We're gonna start off with cheese. This cheese is gonna melt on the potatoes. A little bit more. We're also gonna dollop on the meat, which will also help. Melt the cheese. Oh, I'm so glad I put onion in the meat. Oh, do y'all see that steam on that one? Yeah, I like to do lime now because it gets it on the meat and everything. And after. Oh. Okay, that was a decent presentation. Mm. That sauce is so good. Then we're gonna go in with a dollop of salsa, sour cream, and I hope it doesn't embarrass us with that water shit. Okay. Oh, wow, this looks so good. Okay, we got a taste test on camera. Hold on. Un momento. Don't kill me, y'all. I already had a first bite. And when I tell you this is bussin', like, oh. Do you see the cheese? Do you see? <gasps> Bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm about to tear this up. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. I didn't even show y'all. I moved my desk into this like little dead space behind my couch and I love it. I love it. Let me give y'all a POV. Ignore the slightly messy um living room but i am obsessed i love it it gives me so much life to look out like let's get into this view honey sorry the sun's probably washing out everything but you can actually see downtown um it's super pretty at night so you guys see the buildings so i don't know if you guys remember a couple vlogs ago i had talked about um, getting like I wanted to read the Bible starting the Bible and I did I've been reading this Bible for the last couple months um, on and off really using it to refer especially when I'm like uh, watching church but like also taking my time and like even if it's a page a day like really reading it from like front like I mean Genesis like you know, the very first words in the Bible, um, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, like literally. And I have made it so far. I'm still in Genesis. Um, but yeah, I will be honest. I have not been reading every single day uh, because, because of nothing, because I have just struggled with being um, diligent in 
doing so, but I had been reading very often. Lately, I have been getting to the point that I've been doing it daily, and I love that for me. Let me boost y'all up here a little bit. Hold on. So I've been reading like um, daily lately, but I did want to share today's little devotional. So the thing that I love about this Bible, and I'm going to link her down below. She's been getting me through. Um, so this Bible is basically a 365 guide to reading the Bible. Um, and it is also a devotional Bible for women. Um, it's just beautiful. It's beautifully written and I'm obsessed with it. So I will tell you today's devotional. Beloved daughter, I am holy. I know you long to live a life that pleases me. Sometimes it may feel impossible and many days you live with guilt because of your choices, but I love you and I want you to know of my grace. Yes, I've called you to live a blameless life and I know you won't be perfect during your time on earth. All I ask is that you propose your heart to do what is right so I can help you remain strong in your convictions and blameless before others. The more you deposit my truth in your heart, the deeper your discernment between right and wrong will be. I caution you not to try to live a perfect life built on the values of others. I have given you my Holy Spirit and my scriptures to help you live in a way that is right. Follow me and you will walk in truth. Love your Heavenly Father. I can just feel the word going through me every single time that I lift this book up and like, like read. Um, it's just so good. So what I love is that there will always be a love letter from God. So like it'll start off with like a scripture referencing like what part you're in in the Bible. So that's at the top. And then this is the love letter. And then underneath there's a reflection. And that's just kind of to reflect on, I guess, what God is saying to us. Okay, so the reflection says, all of us sin and make mistakes, but we can be forgiven. It's repenting and doing what is right in God's sight that will keep us on the right path. Be careful not to get entangled in things which you would not want to be held responsible for so that you can indeed remain blameless. And then at the very bottom, it says treasure of truth. And I, I guess I take it as just kind of like a summary of like everything that's been said on the page already. This one says blameless is not defined by perfection, but by a heart proposed to please God which is beautiful. And basically what I take away from that is that, you know, basically what they just said, um, we all sin we is, you know, if we want to get down to the nitty gritty of what is sin, we all sin. Shoot. Some of us almost daily. Um, you know, we try t to not sin, but I think what the, what this passage is basically talking about is that you are not defined by how perfect you are. Rather, you are defined by how intentional you are in your walk with the Lord um, and, you know, choosing to do better uh, because you know better. God, like he, he said in here, I caution you not to try to live a perfect life built by are built on the values of others. I have given you my Holy Spirit and my scriptures to help you live in a way that is right. Follow me and you will walk in truth. You know, like he knows our heart. And I always say this, like, God, you know my heart. Sometimes I say it before I'm about to say something kind of crazy, but like, you know, I say it because I, I mean, like, you know where I'm coming from. You know that like my intent is to always keep you first. My intent is to always do right by you. Um, and yeah, God just, he knows our heart. And if you choose to devote your life to the Lord and to really live through Christ, um, sinning is, while it's not right, it's understandable if you did not know. Does that make sense? And, you know, I could even double down and say that it's okay even if you did know. It's not, it's not okay in the sense of continue to do it, but it's okay in the sense that God is going to forgive you. Like he, like Jesus literally died on the cross for our sins. You guys get me? Like, I don't want to 
um, offend anybody when I say this, but like, we are not perfect because we are not Christ. We are human, we have flesh. Sin is literally at our fingertips. Sin is, I mean, everywhere that you turn, sin is there, unfortunately. But, you know, it is our job to understand that if you have the intent to really live a Christ-filled and led life, that if you slip or fall, it's okay. You just have to get up and dust yourself off and, and you know, choose to do better the next time. Now, if you're continuing to do the same thing, knowing that, you know, it's wrong or knowing that that's a sin, it's a different story, but still understand God will always forgive you. It's beautiful. He's he's amazing. Blameless is not defined by perfection, but by a heart purpose to please God. I love it. 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 So right now, I'm currently in Genesis 17. Um, and it is talking about, which I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to lie, y'all. If you don't know, the Bible is tea. Like, you want to get some tea? The Bible is messy, honey messy i'm learning right now about um abraham and sarah and basically that uh god god promised abraham a son so sarah thought or sarai was her name at the time she had not been able to bear a child for uh, abraham sarai had a servant her name was hagar and because Sarai, this is how I interpreted it, she had such a lack of faith in the Lord um, because she had not been able to bear a child for Abram. So she decided to say, the Lord has prevent prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. So Sarai took Hagar, which is her Egyptian servant, and gave Hagar to a Abram as a wife. Abram then had sexual relations with Hagar and she became pregnant. But when Hagar knew she was pregnant, she began to treat her mistress. So Hagar, the servant initially, had sex with Abram and started to mistreat Sarai with contempt. If you guys know what the word contempt is, I actually learned about contempt last year and it changed my life. Uh, contempt is actually uh, proven to be the number one cause of um, uh, like divorce and where like relationships start to take a turn for the worst. Uh, contempt. Basically, it means that you look at somebody um, as lower than you um you feel as though you have like a one up on them um you know there's disdain in there it's just yeah the servant starts to look at sarai uh with contempt and uh you know treat her with contempt then sarai said to abram this is all your fault i put my servant into your arms but now that she's pregnant she treats me with contempt the lord will show who's wrong you or me abram then said to sarai Look, she is your servant, so deal with her as you see fit. Sarai then treated Hagar so harshly that she finally ran away. So Hagar ran away. I remember she ran to the spring of water in like the wilderness. And um, the angel of the Lord found her there. And the angel said to Hagar, Hagar, Sarai's servant, where have you come from and where are you going? So she then said, I'm running away from my mistress, Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, return to your mistress and submit to her authority. I will give you more descendants than you can count. And the angel also said, you are now pregnant and will give birth to a son. You are to name him Ishmael, which means God hears for the Lord has heard your cry of distress. So Hagar gave Abram a son and Abram named him Ishmael. So that's kind of, that's where I'm at in the Bible right now. It's very interesting, but like, oh, uh, tea, like not, not, not messy, not Sarai is messy. So the last, yesterday's word basically said, <laughs> seen by God. 
Beloved daughter, my eye is always on you and I, and I love what I see. Nothing you do for my glory will ever go unnoticed. I know there are times you feel invisible as if no one sees the ways that you love and serve others. Even in those uncertain times, I saw, even in those uncertain times, I am there. I saw the faithful acts of all of my children who have gone before you. I saw David when he was just a shepherd and I raised him up with a mighty king. I am the, I am the God who sees your true heart. You are my daughter, and a day is coming when you will greatly be rewarded. The reward I have for you can't be found in other people's praise. The best is yet to come. My love, so until that great day, I want you to live for an audience of one, me. Love your Heavenly Father. And the reflection basically says, every one of us has had a time when we feel invisible and unimportant. However, those are the times when we have the opportunity to see God because we're not looking to anyone else for approval. The next time you feel invisible, ask your Heavenly Father to make himself known to you in a special way. He is the God who sees you. And the you know summary basically says, God sees everything perfectly and will help you see his will for your life. You know, I was just like, when I read that yesterday, I was just thinking to myself like, wow, you did not trust the Lord and he had a plan for you. The Lord told Abram that he will have a child. He will have an heir to give all of his things to. And, you know, Abram believed the Lord, but Sarai did not. And because she did not believe the Lord, look at the pain that she caused to herself, to her family, you know, to another woman, all because she of her lack of faith so anyway i just wanted to share that with you trust in the lord walk in his light and his purpose and all the good things will happen for you are you guys tired of the christian content i'm sorry <laughs> she's a woman of god i'm gonna just journal um read some more journal and then i'm going to make a little bit of breakfast so i'll check in with you guys later i'm shooting in 4k right now i hope that it looks good i altered my settings a bit just because i was watching myself on the big screen just because i was like do y'all ever be like i want to see other people's point of view of me <laughs> so i was like let me just like put myself up there and i just feel like the quality is trash like i don't know I got so used to watching other people, I forgot what my content actually looks like on the big screen, and it's horrible, terrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to start filming in 4K and see what it gives. Hey y'all, I hope this quality is a lot better, but uh, it feels, I don't know, there's something different about it, I can't figure it out, but anyway, um, it's a lot later. And I basically filmed two TikToks today um, and then just like planned content for later on in the week. And that was pretty much it. I didn't really do much. I attempted to edit some of this vlog and then I was just kind of like, nah, I'll save that for another day. I'm not really in the mood, but I'm about to take off my makeup. It kind of looks a mess right now. I'm gonna take it off because I need to run. It's like after eight o'clock right now, but Total Wine closes at nine. And I am pressed on this specific type of wine. It's amazing. If you love sweet wine, specifically like a Moscato, <laughs> I think it's called like Moscato Diasti or something like that. Oh my God. That's not the brand, that's just the type of wine that it is. It's so good. Like, I. I'm addicted. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. Anyway, oh, my hair, by the way, it's so fresh. I was, I thought about going to the gym today and I was like, sorry, I'm gonna be that annoying person and not go because I want my hair to just be preserved for at least one more day. So uh, I work the next two days. So I'm like, I'll either go tomorrow or the day after that. And then my, my first off day. So yeah, I'm just gonna take off this makeup and go grab that wine before Total Wine closes. And then I gotta get gas. Ugh. I hate being a woman at times because I have to pump my own gas and that is just get out. Lord, please send me my husband sometime soon because I can't keep doing this. Can we get into 
even though it's still very much boneless because obviously when you have a blunt cut when you have a blunt cut and then you put your hair in a ponytail like the short like the it, it forms layers in a ponytail i don't know how to explain it anyway but look at how long y'all i just got my hair cut like it's crazy this thing be growing fast like that's the one thing i love about the bob is my hair be grown like a weed honey honey boo boo chow i'm over here trying to look at this quality and see what it gives i mean it's okay i don't know but this is 4k y'all this is the 4k that that the girlies be raving over i don't know if i see a difference comment down below if you see a difference please i'm gonna use this skin proud they sent this to me in pr a while ago um face melt this stuff is good okay you want your face clean like squeaky clean not a sight of makeup left it's like a balm so i just take some like that and then i put it literally okay this is what i get for being a youtuber y'all this is what i get very annoying Anyway, all I wanted to show you is that I rub it into my freaking face like such, like like that, like such, like so. There we go. Got the other part of it. And when I tell you, it just breaks down this makeup. Like, are y'all seeing that? So this is what they call double cleansing. Use some type of oil based cleanser first to break it down and then uh, actual like water based like soapy cleanser to wash your face. Okay, pressure's on. It's 820. I live about 12, 13 minutes from Total Wine. So I think I'll make it. And I know exactly where to go as soon as I walk in. But I do need to bring my ID. Oh, I'm so glad that just popped into my brain because I straight would not have. Because if you're anything like me, which this is such a bad habit, I will just bring my cellular device places. Like, I will leave my whole wallet at home, which is so just, like, terrible. And I'm trying to make a conscious effort to do better, but it's just, like... When I have every single piece of information, uh, credit card, ID, uh, freaking insurance, whatever, on my cellular device, it's just kind of like, why am I still carrying cards around? But I digress. That is not a good habit to have picked up. <laughs> I've been loving TikTok so much. <laughs> I feel like I say this every vlog as of the last couple. I love it. So now I just use one of these like towels, like the single use towels and I get it wet with some warm water, hot water, honestly. I wring it out and then you guys are gonna lose your minds here in a second. I'm just kidding. I think I may have done this already on a vlog before, but literally just watch. Are we kidding? Y'all see the hyperpigmentation. <laughs> Y'all see, see the hyperpigmentation coming back, yeah. So yeah, I just go in with this towel. No, skin's really not that bad, honestly. It's been... I would say I have decent skin. Like, you know how some girls be like, glass skin, like that'll, <laughs> it, it's never gonna give that over here. I'm a face picker, I'm a, you know, if if the head, if the, what's it called? The pimple has a head, I'm popping it immediately heavy on it. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even going to hold you. Like, also, I'm a fall asleep in my makeup, not religiously, because I had a, I had to graduate from that, because that was starting to get trifling, especially when you got all white sheets. But I'm just like that type of girl that just like really don't be caring sometimes um it's a really bad habit but 
Thankfully, I was blessed with decent skin. So that's why I say I have decent skin. I won't say I have the best skin in the world. It's not gonna give glass skin. Maybe if I actually tried to take care of my skin consistently, I mean, I'll do what I can. So yeah, y'all. I mean, honestly, if you're super lazy, you could stop right here. I'm not going to because I actually wanna wash my face. I don't know, there's just something, especially if I'm like in the mood to, to actually do, I'ma do it. Uh, about like actually cleaning your face all the way through. <clears throat> so now I take my tried and true. I'm gonna need a re-up on this probably very soon. And we're gonna go in. And wash our face. I be looking absolutely crazy when I wash my face. Like it's never gonna get commercial. <laughs> Like, baby, we are scrubbing and dubbing over here. Please, 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 if you get your lash extensions done, always wash your lashes. Oh my gosh, the amount of dirt and oil and grime and debris and residue, any type of name you could think of that collects within them lashes, baby. Even if you didn't wear makeup for the last two weeks, oil, sweat, dead skin everything just like sits in that lash line you have to get up in there my lash tech says that i am one of her best clients she was like you probably wash your lashes out of, like the best out of what i've ever seen i'm like period okay Woo! another brand new clean one and I go in and I dry my face. I always dry my lashes first because I hate trying to dry them with the fan when they're like soaking wet. It takes a minute. And I just pat my skin, y'all. Don't rub, we pat. Today was a nice chill day. I actually have not even left my house yet. <laughs> this is gonna be the first time I'm leaving my house. And I don't know why I do that. My parents get so irritated by me. Doing that, they're always like, why do you leave your house so late at night? It's not intentional. I really am just a night owl. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm just a night owl. I don't really care to dry these perfectly because I'm literally going to bed after I get back and getting back up and showering and washing my face all over again, so. It's okay been loving this ginseng essence water this is the what is it called beauty of joseon it's korean skincare really been loving it this is like a hydrating toner and i literally just put it straight in my hand and go straight in on my face i don't use a cotton pad um once upon a time i used to and now i just think that it wastes product <laughs> Majority of the product was on the cotton on the cotton pad, babe. Like, let's keep it pee. Let's keep it all the way a thousand. Tonight is just like a simple hydration skin night. We're gonna go in with the Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective Soft Cream. They sent me this in PR. Ooh, a minute ago. I forgot to post about it, y'all. I'd be forgetting sometimes. Um, but I did say. I'm gonna make up PR, like real or TikTok soon. But anyway, um, I love this stuff. <laughs> they ate, they ate with it. There's actually, this is like the softer version, so it's like a lighter. Um, really, I should be using the thick, like the regular one. It's like super thick for nighttime, but um, it is in my travel bag and I do not feel like going to get it. Sheer laziness. Shake my head. I honestly feel like just wrapping my hair and putting a hoodie up to go get this wine, but I don't need no extra problems. So we're gonna leave the hair out. <laughs> and I'll just wrap it when I get home. Okay, last but not least, Laneige lip mask. You already know the deal. And that's it, y'all. Short and sweet, to the point. So, um,. I, like I said, I think already I work the next two days. Um, 
and then I will have off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll see you guys then. I will see y'all in two days. Good morning. Hello, good morning. That's, I don't want to look like crazy. Yep, stop it. You're so sweet. <laughs> Vlogs, I like the way you edit your videos. Thank you. Um, congratulations on dropping your hours down so now you can do this a little more. Yes. I think be more faces of people that, you know, they can trust. So I'm, I'm right. really trying to... And then yeah, after that, we can talk a little bit more about details as to like what type of content that you would like to, or you you would see yourself um, doing for this brand, mm -hmm. and then maybe a little bit more about the details of it. Sure. The strategy for beginner investors is simple: invest in index funds and do it indefinitely. Already know and engage with in our daily lives. And based on this, we actually have a huge advantage over the Wall Street pros. I do agree with this to some extent. So, for instance, I was publicly listed. I looked at the company's reports and I decided to buy the stock. That investment is more terms of putting money towards yourself before investing in the stock market. And I guess investing in yourself, whether that's your ability to manage money, your ability to make more money through a business that can get you started, and I made a playlist that I'll link up over here that you can look at and I'll leave off. Can you do me a favor? Over 75% of people who watch my videos help me out, so thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Yo vas a entrar aquí, aquí no, solo aquí, y no vas a limpiar el cuarto, ¿ver? solo el baño. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, have a good one. I gotta turn this up, I gotta turn it up. It's your birthday, baby, it's your birthday. Petty bullshit shouldn't excite you. It's your birthday. It's your, it's your fucking birthday. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing today? I'm up, okay. I'm up, I got my day started. I took a meeting this morning, which I'm really excited about. Um, I had my cleaners come over. I cleaned up. I, I pre-cleaned for the cleaners. I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's a thing. It's a thing. Like, because they're going to scrub and mop and wipe down and, you know, that type of clean. Whereas I want to be the organizer. I want to be the, the tidier. I, I, I'm going to tidy up, but they're going to clean. Does that make sense? Anyways, child, uh, another day here in Houston, Texas. It's a beautiful day, actually. Today it started off, it was thunderstorming, but if you're from Houston, then you already know what this weather gives. It'll give monsoon one minute and paradise the next. And right now it's giving paradise. It's a beautiful day. Um, it's around 70 degrees outside. The sun is shining, the tank is clean. I'm happy, I'm a happy girl. It's literally like, 1215 uh, which I feel like is a perfect time to have gotten like all of my like uh, stuff done that I really need to get done this morning I even dropped off um, a return an Amazon return which I never do returns dropped off Amazon return um, I'm feeling good I'm feeling great my battery's about to die I'm pissed and I didn't bring another one Ugh! I'm gonna hit y'all later though I'm gonna catch y'all later though I'm on the way to the gym what else is new um, also, can we get this video to 10K views? What's going on, y'all? I don't know if it's YouTube, I don't know if it's y'all, but I'm really about to start tussling because why are we stuck in the eight, seven to 8K range? Like, I don't like that. We used to pull in 20, 30K. We struggling to get 10K views. Like, what's...
Woo! Hey y'all, it is a bit later and I am dressed and ready. I'm about to go edit. Two things. One, can we talk about the hair? I flipped my ends out for once and I actually really like it. Like, I really like it especially because I can do this on dirty hair. Um, instead of like having to always like wash my hair come day four or five, I can like stretch it a little longer with this little flip out. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Love it. It's so cute. Um, two, here's my outfit. I think what I can try to do is do it through the mirror. Maybe. You guys able to see? I think you are, but I have on this like white bodysuit from Pumi. And then I have on these Zara um, high-waisted as hell jeans with slits at the knees. I have on my UGG, my platform UGGs. Um, that was my other Christmas gift from Sky. I don't know if you guys saw the last vlog. Um, and then I just have on this old long black cardigan because I've been getting cold at those coffee shops, girl. And I have on this LA Dodgers hat. I'm just... Is it LA Dodgers? I think. Anyway, this LA hat. Um, and yeah. I feel cute. Like cute but simple. I think I'm going to go to Sunday Press. If you are not following me on TikTok and you have a TikTok, follow me right now. And I'm not just saying that because I want followers. No, I'm saying that because y'all will peep so much stuff early um, and not have to wait, you know, a week or some some change, whatever, to see um, my YouTube. It, it, it on my YouTube. Oh, my gosh. Why am I stuttering? <laughs> um, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll be able to see stuff a lot sooner than when I post it on YouTube is basically what I'm trying to say. But um, I... Talked about a tunicado do. A tunicado in Houston, Texas. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm trying out Sunday Press for the first time. I've heard a lot about this place, but never knew that they had a tunicado. So this is their interior, very open and airy, lots of seating. If you're somebody that works from home or you just want to change the scenery, I loved it in here. The vibe was everything. They had a lot of different pastries and croissants and muffins tarts you name it they had it i actually originally came for a breakfast but when i saw the tuna con on the menu i had to have it i asked an employee and they said it was very similar to the joe and the juice one so i ordered it my homegirl got this yummy mm. pesto chicken sandwich and for her baby we got a little waffle and some fruit the fruit was very fresh but here is the star of the show this tunicado did not disappoint y'all it came with the pesto the avocado the beloved tuna i asked for jalapeno um tomato it was phenomenal i mean i have had the joe and the juice one and it definitely compares if you're in the houston area and you've been craving a tunicado babes head to sunday press i mean are we kidding i will be back Hey, mm. come with me. And will, and I'm going right now. <laughs> it looks so good. Like, I'm so hungry. Um, and I just don't really feel like making lunch at the house. Or I don't even want to call this lunch because it's already 6 o'clock. <laughs> um, early dinner. I want to make dinner when I get back from editing because um, I need that for meal, for meal prep for lunch uh, at work anyway tomorrow. So, yeah. Um... So I think I'm gonna go through their drive-thru and then I'll have a coffee at Brass Tax. That's where I'm going to edit for the night. So really we just have tonight. I think I'll make dinner with y'all again. Let me know how y'all like feel when I included like the cooking portions. I enjoy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just give me your thoughts on that. And then all we have is one more day left on this vlog, which will be Thursday because I work the next three days. Um, and Thursday is going to be a jam-packed day just because we fly out that night at 7 p. So I need to leave my house around 5 because I think I'm only going to bring a carry-on. I don't think I'm bringing luggage. We'll see. But um, anyway, that means I need to leave my house around 5. If I Uber, I can push it. But if not, then I got to get gone. Especially because you already know that time rush hour with Houston is just, it's, yeah. 
really I need to leave at like 4.30 because I need to make sure that I'm at my gate by 6.30 if the flight takes off at 7. Leave at 4.30. God forbid it takes an hour. Get, get park my car and everything by 5.30 and then get through security and everything. I would say five, honestly, but just so I'm careful, I'm thinking we'll leave the house by like 4.45. And if we get there early, then we get there early. But yeah, so I wanna like, okay, now nah, that cups. <coughs> Anybody else's hiccups like so powerful that they make you almost wanna like vomit? Like I hate having, bye. Can I please get a, a tuna cotto sandwich? Tuna cotto, okay. Do you uh, want any jalapenos with that? Yeah, can I add jalapenos, please? Okay. Um, and that'll be it. All right, may I get a name for your order? Des. Des? Yeah. All right, Des, just a tuna cotto with jalapenos. That's mm -hmm. gonna be $12.99 out the window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Period. Where's the window? Interessante. <laughs> oh, I hope they take Apple Pay. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to ask for your signature on the screen. Okay. Thank you. We'll okay, no problem. Period, y'all. I'm really excited for this. Um, when I tell y'all it's so good, I just realized Brass Tax closes early on Sundays. I'm kind of salty about that, but whatever. Maybe it's a sign anyway because I don't need to be out super, super late the night before work. And I kind of am just like in a mood to just wind down with a glass of wine anyway, so. Yeah, I'll get a good couple, like few hours in of just like literally putting my phone up, editing, like not doing anything else. And then, yes ma'am, we got the goods. We got the goods. Ooh, and they, they beef this up. It's thick, I can't even lie to you. I can't even lie to you. Hold on. Damn, this John is thick. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. Is it focusing? Focus. Oh my gosh. First bite. So good. I wish I had hot sauce, but obviously I can't do that and drive. But anyway. Oh, I gotta get one more on camera. One more. Mm-mm. Won't you do it? All right, y'all. Oh my God. Y'all, I have movers here. Movers are downstairs. Let's go get some things and see what we have coming in.
Speed.